everybody, it's Meredith. Welcome to Well Played Wednesday in 2017. I'm back with more playful tips and tricks to just help you live a more playful and fun life because we could all use that right about now. So my husband and son were in marbles playing games because if you've not been to a Marbles the Brain store, store uh, you don't know that it is uh, it is filled with games to play and try and the, the people that work there are so much fun and they're really knowledgeable about all the games and they'll play with you to make sure you like it before you take it home, which is really awesome. So this is not an ad. They're not paying me to tell you about this, but this is literally a game that my husband was so digging that we bought it. And so I'm going to share it with you because it might be snowing where you are. It might be rainy where you are. Here in LA, we're so excited and it's a little scary, but we're excited that it has been torrential downpouring for days, which means the drought is over, but there are also houses sliding down the canyon. Thank God ours is not one of them. Anyway, this game is called Katamino, and it looks like this in the box, and it comes with a board that looks like this, and I'm gonna hold this in because this is a done puzzle that I'm gonna tell you about. So anyway, this game is all about using these little pieces, these 12 pieces, which are called pentominoes. And a pentomino is a shape that, has, that consists of five squares, all juxtaposed, but sharing one common side. That's what a pentomino is. So you get 12 pentominoes and the board. And I'm going to actually put the link below um, in my, actually on meredithplays.com because they have the experts that tell you step by step how to play it, but really you don't want to listen to me do that here. So I'm just going to briefly explain this to you and then you can go and look at the link and really learn how to play it. Super fun. The goal of the game is to use the number of pentominoes, and they give you the chart like this to tell you which ones to use for which puzzle. It looks really crazy and complicated, but it is not. Easy to follow. They tell you which ones to use and the goal is to fit them perfectly flush in the space that you are supposed to use. So like for this one, I'm using six pieces and this is a particular puzzle that we wanted to try. So like if I go to um, space six, it will tell me for the first puzzle, I need to use these six pieces. And then when I get that one, I can move on to the next one. What is really cool about this game is that uh, you can play it by yourself. So, you know, your kids can play it alone if they have friends or siblings they want to play together it's actually really fun to work together on it my kids of course you know when they first got it they were like um, my, my son max was home from college and they wanted to like compete you know like who could do it first who could do it fastest but i'm not all about that i'm all about cooperative learning so i like to play together so you can do it together you can do it by yourself and there are just hundreds of possibilities of how to play this game I am a big proponent of leaving games out like this on your coffee table. This looks really cool. It's pretty, kind of modern and fun. And so it fits into our decor, which is always good. If you don't like to leave games out, find ones that are attractive like this, and then you might want to leave them out on your coffee table, a great coffee table game. And in my book, I write about um, you know, setting up a playful home. Part of it is leaving fun things like out on your coffee table. That that invite people to play. So if you're snowed in, if you're rained in, if your kids are saying they're bored, if you just want some brain challenge, check out Katamino. And again, it's at Marvel's The Brain Store. So I'm gonna be sharing more and more games and fun things that I'm finding just to help us live a more well-played life. So go check it out. And even if you just go to Marvel's The Brain Store and play for like 30 minutes, super fun. All right, have a great long weekend. I'll see you next week.